With this project, we're going to create this gripper assembly. We're going to model each of these parts and put it together and create these working drawings. We need the first start Inventor 2010. We can find the Inventor Professional 2010 shortcut on the desktop. You can simply double click or you can simply click on Start, All Programs, Autodesk and find the Autodesk Inventor 2010 and then simply launch it from that program group. Once Autodesk Inventor has started, here is the basic interface that you'll come across. The first thing is a blank working area. We haven't started a file of any sort. We have a blank browser because we haven't started a file. And we have this new ribbon tool along the top. Along the top we have simple commands such as new, open an existing file, projects, set where our projects, all our inventor files are going to be stored. If you want to learn more about this ribbon, you can simply go to the ribbon, ribbon introduction, a ribbon tutorial, and an interface guide which allows you to explore the new user interface, what's new. So if you're a inventor user, you may want to go through this particular command getting started guide if you are a new user you may want to make yourself uh, work through this tutorials a little learning path on covering all the different uh, topics in inventor and of course some step-by-step -step animations that are now included in inventor engineering rule org button will launch an internet browser that connects to student engineering community website and customer involvement is a program where you can relay feedback to Autodesk in terms of what you feel Inventor needs and issues that you may have with Inventor. So the first item at task is we want to set where Inventor will open and save files to. This is referred to as the project. In this case it's a very simple assembly that we're creating but in the real world there are assemblies that can range from 5,000 to 100,000 parts and you want to be able to manage that and make sure that you save them all in the, in the correct location. So we simply click on the project and we have a series of projects here in the project name list. We're going to make our way to the bottom and click new. We're going to create a new single user project so we select that option we click next we're going to browse and in this case I'm going to specify that I want it saved on my C drive and I'm going to call it a folder called gripper and my project name I am also going to call it gripper we can then hit finish and we will say okay it wants to create that directory and I now have a gripper project name but the check mark is currently on tutorials, so I need to double click on Gripper, making it the active project. And we simply click Done. 